Hello, welcome back to Monetizing Your Blog. In this video, we are going to talk about pre-selling. And pre-selling is the act of getting your buyer or getting your prospect or getting your site visitor ready for your offer, whatever it is. Now, remember, in some cases, the offer is going to be for them to come to the page and for them to see uh, either the link or the banner and decide to opt in. In other cases, the offer is going to be for them to make a purchase. And in other cases, uh, the offer is going to be for them to seek other information, very similar to the first. Now, pre-selling is, again, making sure that the customer is ready to see the offer. What you don't want to do, and you'll see it that I have there, have it there as the fourth thing on the page you don't want to send your visitors straight to the offer when they come from the web or they come from the internet or from the search engine they're still they're still cold you need to warm them up to the offer you need to bring them to the point where they have some emotion and that they're ready to buy if you just show them the offer or you just allow them to see the banner it tends not to make them want to right away make the commitment whatever it is whether the commitment is to buy whether the commitment is to opt in or to seek information so in the case of pre-selling what you're doing is you are going to and if you're using WordPress this is going to be easy you're going to use a blog post that you are going to write about the actual thing that you want people to do or that you want people to uh, become accustomed to and opt into or to purchase you're going to do a blog post on the actual item but instead of doing a report where you're detached and you're going to do something kind of like a newspaper reporter and you're trying to remain objective that's not what you're doing with a blog post what you're doing with a blog post is writing your personal opinion and your personal experience with what you're reviewing one of the one of the best things that you can do is to be involved in a niche or in a market that you are personally involved in because then when you start to talk about and you start to pre-sell the products you'll be pre-selling from a position of knowledge and you'll already know what the hot buttons are in a particular product and that doesn't mean that you have to know all the products or you have to know about the market even uh, what you do uh, need to know is that you'll have an advantage if you are already involved in the market and you are passionate about it and you're knowledgeable about it so your blog post is going to be a knowledgeable uh, personal opinion about about the item that you're writing on so that people who read your post will not view it as content I have that as the second item there you want to give them content you want to give them something entertaining informative educational even so that they're not looking at what you've written as selling them but really you are really what you're doing is warming them up to the offer you are affecting the customer and making them more receptive again by talking about uh, by, by talking about the product from an inside or intimate perspective now in some cases it's going to make sense for you even to mention some of the negative aspects of a product and maybe what you don't like and what you'll do is that you will be covering the object the objections of people while you actually write that post or while they read it what they're doing is they are qualifying themselves by reading your objections and your answers to the objections when you write the actual pre-sale post now again the pre-sale post should be written written as a personal opinion uh, that is very entertaining and, and is that will keep them reading it and make them want to read more now uh, one of the other things about doing a post in this way is that you'll want to make sure someplace on your website and typically you'll do that on some kind of disclosure page that you are using affiliate links you don't want there to be any confusion about that because even if someone buys the first time 
once they find out you do and that they feel as if you've been tricking them they won't be a repeat visitor and then if you don't have repeat visitors then you will not have repeat buyers so what you'll want to do is you'll want to find some way whether or not it's on a disclosure page someplace on your site so that the visitors know well hey this is an affiliate link that this person has they're gonna be making a commission if I actually go to buy something or if I actually go to opt in so in terms of monetizing again we are talking about affiliate marketing and how do you get people ready for an offer when you're an affiliate remember you don't have to do this for it when you're advertising right because as a matter of fact you don't want to pre-sell when you're advertising but when you are doing affiliate marketing and you're focusing on one product or one service then what you need to do is you'll need to make sure that the first page that a visitor sees is your pre-selling page right and that pre-selling page should then make them want to actually make a purchase okay so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video